Welcome everyone. I'm Ashley from Going Crochet and I am on my second week of Frog or Finish February where I'm going through many, many whips that I have had for years. Some are pretty new, some are pretty old. Um, so I'm going through those and I am taking either a frog project where I'm just tearing it out, saving air for a new project, or a finish where I am creating, finishing up that project. So I'm happy that you guys are here. So you can see in the background, I have had my first week um, and I have them on display right now. And today is actually day number eight of a frog or finish February. And I already know what I'm gonna do. It's this guy. It's gonna be a dragon. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't finish him. I'm wondering if maybe I ran out of yarn, although I have a ton of black, so I don't know why I have not finished him. But I'm going to finish him up today. He just needs wings, arms, eyes. It's kind of gonna be a big involved project because you'll see when he's done who he is. He is a famous dragon um, from a movie. And um, yeah, so this is project number one of week number two. So I'm excited for you guys to follow and along. And I am finished, as you can probably tell who this guy is. I'm just gonna say right now, I'm not very happy with how he turned out. I did all the construction properly, um, but I think I used a too big hook because I can see the some of the stuffing through it because it's black and you can see the stuffing through it. And it just, the black I used for the add-ons from the body is different. So the black of the body is much darker than the black. You see how it's more of like a gray scale than a black. And so it just didn't work out as nicely as I would have liked. Uh, not all projects are gonna be a win. And that's one of the troubles with working with this weight yarn is it shows more mistakes than the bulky yarn does. And if I had known while I was making all the wings and ears and all that stuff that it was gonna be a different black, I don't know why I did not compare my two blacks before I started, but I was just in a hurry to get it going and get it done. But here he is in all his glory. He is done with his nice big wingspan, his glowing eyes, and there he is, day number eight, done, and moving on to day number nine now. We are officially on day number nine, and I already know what project I'm going to do. I had to make a little cheat ahead of time to check to see if it was something I was gonna be able to finish um, versus Frog, because I love him so much, but he um, has a really floppy head, and he was like extremely understuffed. Um, he was one of my first amigurumis I started making and so he just wasn't constructed properly because it was new to me um, but the stitching is nice uh, so I figured I could complete this guy he does have a floppy neck and I don't think that that's gonna change because his head and his body are two separate pieces I checked um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill his head full of polyfill uh, close it back up and then add the arms and the legs. I think the reason I stopped doing this project is because I don't think I'm going to have enough yarn to complete it and it's older yarn that I've had for years and so I don't think I can find a color to match them. So I have very little of this blue left and a little bit more of this blue. So what I'm going to do for the legs is I'm just going to swap them so the arm is going to be more of the lighter blue with a little bit of the darker blue on the tip so we'll see we'll see if i have enough to finish it and if not maybe i'll just throw in some new colors stay number nine we have this guy and obviously these nostrils and the eyes are a little crooked but that's okay we're gonna go with it anyway so what i like to do when i'm stuffing my projects is I stick the stuffing in and then I push it to the walls. 
of the the body of it I guess you could say so I'm spreading it out to leave a little hole in the center so you can see I can fit my fingers in there and then that way I know I'm getting enough stuffing in because I can just fill out the center after and I know that the shape of it is going to be full because see how much fuller he is now I do still have to figure out I think I'm gonna tack this down a little bit better to make it a little bit less lopsided um, but yeah so now his head is much better his body is still kind of understuffed but I don't want to have to detach the body from the head so I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna play around with it some more it's not gonna be a perfect one but it's gonna be better than it was and it's gonna be finished so I'm happy I'm not gonna have to scrap this whole project. So I attached his head and look at the sturdiness. I made him a little bit sturdier in the neck, which I really like. He's still super lopsided in the head, but I'm gonna go with it and I'm just gonna make it look like he's kind of looking over to the side like this. And so when I attach his ears, I'll just line them up with his head and he'll just have that little crooked head. Um, and then that way I'll just, work it through um his patch is a little off kilter too but you know what it's a handmade object and i think part of the reason they're so sweet and individualized is because of all these slight imperfections in them um not every character not every plushie is going to be exactly the same because they all are gonna have a slight imperfection here or there which makes it so much more unique and so much more special. And I bet a little boy or girl will see this and they will fall in love with the crooked head. It will be special to them. Uh, so now to get to my legs and all the other extras that need to go on with this guy. I am playing the ultimate game of yarn chicken and I'm definitely gonna lose but the good thing is I did go downstairs because I thought for sure I wasn't going to have any more. Don't mind the cat. He's he really wants me to pet him right now. I can't have my gloves on. Um, but I really, really, really was looking for this color because I thought halfway through the first leg, I was going to have to switch up the leg a little bit just so I would have enough yarn to finish both legs and make them look the same but here we go we have the two arms and I did the dark blue with the lighter blue um, for the arms instead of the other way around so he's gonna be a little uh, backwards but that's okay because I like it I, I think it's cute it's just switching it up a little bit and then I have the first leg completely done and this is the second leg and as you can see I am almost done I literally only have 21 stitches left to do in this round and look at the yarn so I figured I would crochet the 21 stitches and see how much I have left but I have this to finalize it so we're good all right here we go I won't count out loud because I know some people are counting as well when uh, they watch crochet videos, because I do. All right. Almost there. Uh-oh. We can make it. Oh my goodness. And unfortunately we did not make it because I have to close it with a single crochet. So we're so close, but we did not make it. We lost at uh, yarn chicken. I obviously would have been able to adjust if I didn't have the yarn, I would have made something work. Um, just made each leg like one row shorter, but 
I lost that yarn chicken, but barely. Uh, so I just wanted to come in and update you on that. And I 100% lost at making the ears and they're supposed to be wings on this guy too. Uh, and that is definitely not gonna happen in the colors that he's supposed to be, which is okay because I was, I was only gonna have um, partial wing that color which I can still probably do since I do. No, I'm probably not gonna be able to with that much yarn. Uh, that's literally all this color yarn I have left. And so that would not happen whatsoever, but that is okay because I'm just gonna change it up. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I would be able to make his ears um, with this color on the outside. And then I'm gonna do a different, completely different than blue color on the inside. And I'm gonna do the same with the wings. I'm gonna just make the wings completely different. Uh, just like it's, and I'm, I'm making it so it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Don't mind my animals, they are always all over me. I have my cat here and my dog there and they are obsessed with me. All the time, I quote, uh, you'll know who in a second. I always say, why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> so who can tell me what that is from? <laughs> tell me the movie that comes from in the comments. And here we go, leg number four is complete. I will, look at him rubbing on me. I will be able to sew those on and I will update when I am a little bit further along. Oh yeah, if you hadn't noticed, I got my hair done. Yeah. And he is done. He um, was a very large project to finish. Look at him, his head is bigger than my, my head. Um, and he took up all of that blue well I have a little bit of that this lighter teal left I'll show you in a second and but he took up all of those colors I was lucky to be able to get him finished as best I could um, I would have preferred his tail to be that darker blue but I just was completely out of it and so he is done and let me just grab what I have left over the blue the darker of the blue teals, none left. This is all I have left of the lighter of the teal, and it wasn't even enough to do an, at the full outer edging of the wing. I wanted to do like that little scallop edging in the blue, didn't have enough. He just barely um, reached like to the end, but then there was no way of, I couldn't finish up the stitches. And this is all I have left of this specific orange, which is also another color that I'm um, just about out of. And so he is a very large, but he sits on his own and he has that little crooked head, but I think it just gives him a little bit extra character. And he's so squishable and lovable and I kind of just really love him and he might just have to stay home with me. So I don't know. Oh, he's so nice to pedal. So day number eight is complete. Hey guys, it has been a very long day because I just went to my craft fair and I just finished setting up all my items that I still have left over. I still have a ton left over. Um, but for today, I did not want to forget about our day number 10 of our frog or finished February. And so since it was a long day and I don't want to really do all that much, I'm planning on doing just a frog project. So I'm going to be taking this apart tonight. Woohoo! And I will ball it up and show you guys what I get out of it. This is a project I was doing and I, I'm never going to finish it. Um, yeah, I could literally just finish it right now and um, oh, look, I could make it a little dress. Wouldn't that be cute? But anyway, um, distraction. 
Uh, but I'm not going to. So I am going to use this yarn for other projects. So I'm gonna take all of this apart, uh, which is kind of bittersweet. It was gonna be a project for Owen. And it's gonna be a little bit of a pain because it is a doubled yarn. Um, so what I have to do is I'm gonna have to ball it up first. I'm gonna have to ball it up first and then I'm going to have to um, roll it separately after I ball it up. So here we go. So it is late and I am tired, but I did get a lot of the yarn rolled, but not caked yet. So let's just see. We have two big rolls of this dark green, two rolls of light green, two big rolls of navy, two smaller rolls of navy. There's my dog. <laughs> two blue rolls and I'm working on these rolls plus I still have this much blanket left that is a lot of yarn but for day number 10 there we go that's all I have so far done and I'll finish tomorrow see you guys night so it is day number 11 and I did finish up rolling up the last of my blanket and so now I have all of this yarn I need to complete. Oh, let's do it this way. Oh my goodness. Am I going to go out of frame? Let's see if I can make it happen. And all of the yarn is wound and you can only see my little eyeball. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all away and I am finished for day number 11. And that's all I'm doing for today because I'm still kind of tired from my craft fair yesterday. I need a day just to relax. I'm not going to be doing any crocheting today. Um, so I will see you guys. Day number 12 and I'm back at it again today. And my project is going to be, it's not going to look like much. I started it as a car project. So I always like to have a car project with me whenever I go places, if I'm sitting around not doing anything, I'll have a car project that I start. And this is the start of my car project. And it was supposed to be a little mushroom bag. And this is as far as I got and I got bored of doing it or I lost track of it or something happened and it never ended up getting done. So I'm gonna do this. So I am done my project for the day. It took a lot of work, um, a lot more work than I was expecting to. But here is the little bag, it's a little mushroom bag. I just need to add some buttons so that it stays closed when you're not using it. And I think I'm gonna make the strap longer because it's just not long enough, but I lost a yarn chicken, so I might have to use a different color red. Um, but here it is, it's my mushroom bag that I finished for day number, we are on day number 13. Oh my goodness. We're like halfway there and I'm so excited. Um, but what I wanted to show you before I told you what my project is for today, 
look at this pile and this box. This is all I have left of projects I need to go through. While before this was heaping over, over full of projects that I needed to complete, it was a sheer disaster. And now we are closer and closer to clearing out this space, utilizing that yarn for something else or finishing up my projects. And I'm so excited to be this close to being finished. But for today, this project is what I'm going to be doing. So these are going to be pumpkins. This is what a finished pumpkin looks like. And I started these in the fall and then I ended up having too many pumpkins. And these ones were like my road project. So I would do them while I was riding in the car um, as passenger princess. And I made these in the car and I just never finished them up because either I ran out of yarn or... I just didn't feel like doing it because I had enough already in stock. So I'm going to finish up these two pumpkins today. I'm back and I'm a little embarrassed to admit how quickly it took me to make these. Um, so we're talking about like 30 minutes to finish both of these. That's how quickly, um, that's how far into the project I was. But I got my two pumpkins. They're going to be perfect for uh, next fall season. And there we go, project um, done for the day. And now I get to move on to Valentine's Day. Hmm, wonder what I'm gonna make on Valentine's Day. We'll see. Hey everyone, welcome again. It is officially the 14th, which means we are on day number 14 of my frog or finish. And today I thought that the project I could do is using this yarn up. So I ran out of, out of yarn. I was gonna make a little lovey out of this and I completely ran out of yarn and it's not really flat and I just wasn't happy with it. So I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with this and I hope I have enough yarn for it. I think I should, but we will see. But this is what I'm doing for day one. And an update for today. I made two of these little bunny rabbits out of that yarn that I um, picked out this morning and they're little fidget bunnies. So they pop out of a little magic hat and then you stick them back in. So I have this guy with a little pink nose in his hat and I have this guy with a little heart nose for Valentine's Day. I had to throw in a little bit of a Valentine's Day theme. And he pops out of his little magic hat and then you stick him back in. So it was a fun little um, toy, fidget toy for someone. And yeah, I, I love them. I have lots more of this uh, white left actually. I didn't think I'd have um, enough to make two, let alone like I could probably make like four out of it, but I wasn't sure if I should make more of um, the magic hat things or make something else. I really love the magic hat though. And also an update on that mushroom bag that I made the other day. I did change it up a little bit. So I put the little buttons um, so that it will latch closed. And so you can fill your bag up full of items and then um, keep them safe by buttoning them. And I did change the strap so it has a longer strap and I just did the, the white instead of the red and I actually like it better with the white for the strap opposed to the red for the strap. And so it's much longer now so you can do um, a crossbody bag or on the side and that is it for tonight. We just went through week number two, and now I'm just gonna give you a little recap of all the things I made in week number two. Don't mind the little kitty in the background. I came down here and he was chilling out in my um, whip box. First time he's ever been in there. He must have found it pretty cozy. Um, but anyway, now, what I made this week with this guy. Isn't he so cute? I love him. He's so squishable and big. Look, look at the size difference between my cat. My cat is 10 pounds. And so there's this guy. 
I made this guy. That's no, project two. Project three. I kind of love it. I think this will be super cute um, for someone who just loves mushrooms. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And so got that. I have my super fun little popping guys and of course everything in here i'll have the patterns linked down below so you can go ahead and find where these patterns are this is from krojo mojo i just love her patterns they are so awesome so i made two of those guys and then i made these sweet pumpkins and these ones are from cameron's cute creations and i just love her youtube videos um she was one of the inspirations of me starting my own youtube video so i made those as well and that concludes week number two in my frog or finish february and i'm really excited to move on to week number three if you um didn't see week number one go ahead and check it out right here and i can't wait to talk to you all next week bye guys make sure to like subscribe do all that jazz. <laughs>